Shalom friends, welcome to Daf Reactions, Ketubot 5. Quick note, while some Jews say Ketubot, the majority say Ketubot, so in an effort to not confuse anybody more than they're already confused by the Talmud, um, I'm going to go with Ketubot from now on. Friends, we have now established that Ketubot is a worthy sequel to Yevamot. Yes, they're both about marriage, but they also produce very similar physical effects on me. Do you see this eye twitch? Yeah. In today's daf, we have a virginity dilemma. What is the halakha about a man who has sex with his virgin bride for the first time on Shabbat? It depends if tearing the hymen is considered inflicting a wound, because that is forbidden on Shabbat. So we get mm, several theories. One is essentially that there is a reservoir of blood up there just waiting for an opportunity to come out of her vagina. So when her hymen is broken, it's not an injury per se. It's more like taking a twist cap off of vitamin water as opposed to stabbing a straw into a Capri Sun. But there are many additional factors that are considered and discussed. For example, what if his goal is to merely widen her vagina so sex is more comfortable for him? Several things. Firstly, that's not how that works. Secondly, the concern here is related to how on Shabbat certain acts are forbidden because they are acts of creation or acts of destruction. So possibly it's forbidden because he is creating a wider entry. On the other hand, however, perhaps it's more of a destruction problem because he is destroying her value as a virgin. Virgins do indeed in this context have a higher value. Here's my least favorite part of the doff. What if the husband wants her to bleed so that he can see that she's a virgin. If I were ruling on this issue, I would require the community to, how shall I say this, test his flammability after Shabbat, of course, because we can't light fires or inflict injury on Shabbat. So it will be after. This discussion of virginity continues into the next off. What a fun time for all of us.